year was 2006, and Toronto became privy to what has since been called Mighty Cool, Wonderful, Adrenaline Dripping, a musty event. The Toronto After Dark Film Festival was born. The festival showcased the best sci-fi, horror, and fantasy films not yet seen by Toronto audiences. In 2007, the festival returned, bringing genre film fans more of what they desired most. And it continued, year after year, supplying genre film fans with some of the greatest Canadian and international horror, sci-fi, action, and cult movies available. But 2011 saw something different. Along with the standard films, audiences were also treated to the diaper rating. But where did this diaper rating come from? What did it mean? Many speculated, perhaps it was a rating of how shitty the movies were. Perhaps it was the opposite and just rated how good a movie was, man. We figure it's a combination of the two. The diaper rating indicated how many diapers you were going to fill with your own filth. That's right, how many times would you shit your pants due to the thrills, chills, and spills on screen? This is Toronto After Dark 2011. Uh, 
uh, a very chaotic 48 hours, and since I have this opportunity, I want to thank uh, my co-director who couldn't be here, but this is being recorded, so Pete, thank you, uh, Sarah Williams, Kelly Ames, Ali Leo, and Vince Weir, who are not here. Did I forget anyone? Okay. I'm looking at my family there. And <laughs> thanks, our, thanks to our family, and thank you to our neighbors who didn't ask any questions about the blood in the backyard. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Okay, um, Ryan Levin is the brains behind this film. He's the writer and producer. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it here. Um, he's been traveling all over the world with this film, and he literally told me he'd get shit can from his job if he came up here. Um, however, I did kind of convert him into making a two-minute little intro video for you guys. Um, you'll sort of appreciate Yay! his sense of humor, and that which I really like, so I hope you guys kind of dig it. Um, anyway, on to the feature film. Some guy kills people, actually is, has a brilliant cast. Uh, you got Kevin Corrigan in it, which you probably recognize from a ton of films being that guy, from Pineapple Express and Big Ben. Uh, playing his mother is Karen Black, <laughs> and she's great, she's always ribbing him all the time. And as a Barry Boswick is in this film, and he plays the sheriff you know, in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and he's just, it's great, it's a real delicious dark comedy. I really, really like this film, it's right up my alley, so I hope you appreciate the dark sense of humor. Anyway, but thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it, make sure you turn off all your cell phones, and iPads, and beepers, and et cetera, et cetera. But thank you very much, guys, enjoy the film, make sure you vote. Thank you. to make people laugh, Boyd? Get your fucking life back on track. You're 34, you work in an ice cream parlor. Boy, you're on street duty. It's up, Minty. <laughs> Did you see Kenny, boy? Oh, right. I knew there was something. Your daughter is here. Can you believe the way we just ran into each other? Amy? Like, we were supposed to meet and spend time together. Up for some action? I could teach you that shot if you want. My ex was a Harvard-educated pediatrician. He turned out to be an alcoholic cocksucker who videotaped me while sleeping and cheated on me throughout our sham of a marriage. This is kind of amazing. It's nice. Yeah. Oh. I can't believe they made me buy it. Good night, you know, man. I bought this painting oh, for you. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Toots. Why don't you stop by the surplus store sometime? Clearly, you're into damaged goods. Where'd you go last night? I had uh, things to do. I had to meet a friend. This thing has no head, I think. I know, sir. Most bodies have head. Absolutely. Where does this thing head? Not sure yet, sir. Oh, we could find this head. Good idea, sir. Get your ass home. A little busy right now, huh? Somebody did all wait in good. Decapitado. That hospital turned you into a zombie camp. Right? You had no business even being there. Our guy knew his victim. The woman hated him. It's hard to imagine what those guys did to him. But whatever it was, it stuck. I wanted to kill them, Sheriff. I wanted to kill them more than anything. By the head, sir. Bring it on over. It's like his eyes follow you. 